Welcome. Today's practice will focus on the lymphatic system and we'll bring our focus to the areas where our lymph nodes are located in the neck and chest, under the arms, stomach, spleen, and groin. So find yourself in an easy seated position and start to turn your focus and awareness from outside to in. And we take this journey by using our breath. And just feel the breath moving in and out of your body. Feel the rising of the chest on the inhale and the falling of the chest on the exhale. Now start to bring your breath to a little bit longer inhale, bringing the breath all the way to the belly. And exhale, nice long exhales out, squeezing the stomach so the breath comes all the way out of your belly. Folding your, bringing palms together and setting an intention for the practice. lowering your arms, putting your hands on your knees. Inhale and bring the shoulders up to the ears and exhale, release down. Inhale. And exhale. And here we're starting to stimulate the lymph nodes located within the neck area and in the chest. Looking down and looking up and breathing in, breathing out. Slow, steady, rhythmic breaths following the movement. Tipping the head to the one side and then tipping your head to the other side. finding neutral, and again, find bringing your ear towards your shoulder, inhaling to neutral, and then finding the other shoulder with the other ear, and now doing head circles, circling in one direction, and then circling the opposite. Raise your arm up into the sky, bending the elbow and grabbing the elbow with the opposite hand. And gently moving the arm downwards, down your back, inhaling as you pull and exhale as you release, stimulating the lymph nodes underneath the armpits. And then switching arms, grabbing the opposite elbow, gently pulling the arm downwards and then releasing it back. A little rocking motion with the arm. And breathing as you go. Releasing the arms. Coming up on your knees and Practicing lion's breath with an inhale and exhale, sticking your tongue out, eyes rolling back in your head. Inhale, exhale, tongue comes out. Inhale, exhale. And now coming around to all fours, doing a few cat cows to get to link movement to breath a little bit more, arching the back like a cat on your inhale, and then exhale, sinking the belly, raising the chin on the exhale. Inhale, arch. 
tucking the tailbone and then exhale, sinking. Inhale. Then bringing in some lateral movements to the spine, looking from side to side, and then maybe doing some corkscrews. Loosening up the back, loosening up the spine, bringing the palms forward a bit, rolling, curling the toes under and pushing yourself back into a downward dog and start to pedal your legs out here. Remembering to breathe, bring the end and into any tight areas, anywhere where you feel tension. And gently step forward, bringing the hands around to your back, clasping your hands and then extending the clenched fists up to the sky if you can, squeezing the shoulder blades. And if you can't, that's okay too. You can lower the hands and bring them to the small of your back, giving yourself a little lower back massage. And these forward folds are great to stimulate the limbs, moving it forward. And then going into a rag doll, maybe holding opposite elbows. And then getting ready to do some sun salutation modified. Sweeping the arms up and then bringing palms together. Sweeping arms up, exhale forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reaching the arms up, palms to touch. Warming up for a warrior series. Inhale, exhale, sweep down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, palms to touch. Bring them down to heart center. Breathing, grounding, feel your feet connecting to the earth. On your next inhale, bend one of your knees and step back, position yourself into warrior two. Good, tucking the tailbone, drawing the lower belly in reaching both arms out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale and pivot to the other side, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Feel the strength in your legs. Feel your draw your energy up from the earth. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, open the chest, arms extend back. Arm, hands clasp behind you, opening up your chest, forward fold. Extending clenched fists toward the ceiling if you can, squeezing the shoulder blades. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale, come up. Releasing your hands. Grabbing a block if you have one or something to support you. As you go into Malasa, 
Malasana or Yogi Squat. And take your block or support and you can put it underneath your sit bones for a little added support if you have tight hips. Bringing the elbows to knees, holding the knees open, getting a nice stretch in the hips and the lower back, breathing in, breathing out. Moving the block out from under you, bringing your hands behind you and catching yourself as you come in down to the mat. Lying on the mat, bringing knees to chest. Hugging the knees to chest and rocking side to side for a little massage in the lower back. Extend the arms out. To the sides and lower the knees to one side. And look to the other direction or you can look straight ahead. Bring in the breath into the belly. Focusing on the lymphatic lymph nodes in the belly and the groin. Now opening up, feeling movement in your body, switching sides with the knees, extending arms out to the side, looking to the opposite side of the knees for a stretch in the neck as well. Stimulating the lymph nodes in the neck, in the belly, in the groin, hugging knees into chest. finding the block and putting it under your sit bones for a supported bridge, squeezing the shoulder blades underneath you, bringing the breath deep into the belly here, chins into the chest, stimulating the lymph nodes within that area as well. Nice gentle back bend. Bringing the block or support out from under you. Bringing knees to chest for a little hug. Releasing the legs. And once again, bringing the block up underneath your sit bones or underneath your sacrum for a up. Uh, legs up the wall, modification, bringing the arms out alongside of you. And this can actually be done up against the wall or it can be done with uh, bending the knees and bringing them resting on a chair or the couch. It's a great way for the lymph to flow back down from the legs. Releasing the legs, bringing your feet down to the mat, releasing the support from your sacrum. Hugging knees to chest once again. Grabbing onto the soles of the feet, bringing the knees towards your towards the floor if you can for a happy baby. Release, coming into Shavasana. Hand, one hand on belly, one hand on the heart. And release and totally let go here. Take a deep breath and roll over to one side, cradling your head in your hands, integrating the practice. 
Pushing yourself up to an easy seated position. Again, taking a few deep breaths, bringing hands to heart center. Giving gratitude to the practice, to yourself, to the world. Namaste.